It's a somber moment for players on the Warner Bros. servers. I believe you're well informed about the situation, so there's no need to delve into details. Some of you will opt to quit the game entirely. Some of you will sadly lose touch with your dearest friends. Some of you will truly miss being a part of your beloved social clubs. But plenty of you will reunite, galvanized by your indomitable spirit and the unbreakable bond of your community. I'm not here to sway you with propaganda about joining the NetEase servers, it's a decision each of you has to make on your own. I understand it's tough to part ways with the rewards gathered over time and the investment of real money. I also recognize the time and effort we must invest to achieve the same result we once enjoyed. Some of you have already joined the NetEase servers because you've dedicated yourselves to discovering no other game that is better than what you've experienced here. Some of you are still undecided about whether to begin anew or quit the game completely. You may be curious to know who this girl who's been running around me is. Her nickname is 1010, and she is a friend of mine who plays on the Warner Bros server. She quite unexpectedly plummeted down and landed right on top of us while I was recording this video. She looks shy, but I believe she will reunite with her former social club companions and even make more friends on the NetEase server. I'm calling out to all of our NetEase players out there. Please, show tolerance and a friendly demeanor towards the newcomers from the Warner Bros servers. They really need your support and encouragement in this time of transition. Enough talk. Let's do something actually useful instead. Unfortunately, I don't have any experience downloading games on iOS, but I can provide you with a clear step-by-step -step guide on how to install the game on an Android device. Let's start off, shall we? First things first, open the Chrome browser on your Android device. Next, head over to the Kuap website and download its application. You can safely ignore the file might be harmful warning. The website is completely legit and you can proceed with the download without worry. After installing the application, locate the Kuap icon on your system and enter it. In the Kuap application, press the magnifying glass icon in the top right corner and type in Harry Potter to begin searching for the game. You'll see several similar icons for the game. Make sure to choose the one labeled Harry Potter Bot Asia to ensure you're downloading the correct version. Once the installation is complete, find the Harry Potter Magic Awakened icon on your Android device and launch the game by tapping on it. Once you've launched the game, you'll be prompted to create your account using one of the popular services like Facebook or Google or other options available. And that's pretty much it. You're all set to start playing. Oh, almost forgot about myself. As for me, I sadly lost my main account on the Warner Bros server. Fortunately, I have my secondary account on NetEase with all the crucial resources I need to continue producing the series without any interruptions. Therefore, I won't say farewell, but instead say see you later. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. So, guys, what decision have you arrived at? Are you planning to join the NetEase server? Isn't it obvious? Do we have any other choice, Atred? What about you, Robin? I'm so frustrated, but I guess I'll go wherever Kev wants to go.